channel gears and glitter my name is Chelsea and you're watching my very first video so I'm actually sitting in front of my 2012 R spec Genesis coupe it's the BK1 today I'm gonna actually be doing my headliner which is a huge pain in the butt so I thought that this video could be pretty helpful to not just females but anyone in the car community that has a Genesis coupe and is trying to squeeze that out the door, take it off, redo it, and put everything back in one piece. So here we go. So before we get started, I'm actually going to show you what all is really needed. I chose like a marble cotton. Now most people say that you're supposed to get like a stretchy material, but um, I didn't do that. <laughs> and then you also want to get an adhesive. So I was actually, I've seen a couple of things where you should get like a brush on and then also this one. I'm really thinking this should be fine. You don't need to like overly saturate it. I mean, we're going to with the spray, but you don't need to like dump out a ton of adhesive onto it. So that's what I'm gonna be using today is a Loctite spray adhesive. This is three yards. I got this for $30. And then this spray adhesive was around $11. So we're gonna go ahead and see how that works out. But yeah, three yards mainly because the headliner itself, I believe takes one and a half, but in case you need a little bit extra, you've got that. And then also if you wanted to do your A pillars and your visors matching, you can do this. So we're gonna go ahead and tear everything off. So I'm gonna go ahead and start removing some of this stuff in here. And I'll go ahead and show y'all, it's like a, it's a tan. I guess it's to keep it lighter in here, but uh, I don't like it. And then everything else is black and red. It's so beautiful. All right, so I've got my bird's nest. We're gonna get started. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do, obviously, is remove all the things that are gonna be in the way from you taking the headliner off. Now this is done after you disconnect the battery. I could not stop the you know. Drilled out these two Phillips head screws. So there's going to be two Phillips head screws, and that's going to be two per each visor. So, and then they just pop right out. There's like a little, it's kind of like a little clip, it sits inside, and you kind of have to wiggle it a little bit, and it loosens it up, and you can just lift down, pull up towards you, and it comes out. And they can just take this puppy off. And we're gonna sit this down in the back seat for now. I'm gonna take one of these tools here. This one is the best, I don't know if y'all can see. This is one of the best tools to use for, it has like a little spiky end. Hopefully you guys can. Do you really work on your car if you don't cuss at it? No. Some of these pieces are actually only supposed to come out when you loosen up the headliner. So, this luckily has a Phillips head on it. So I was able to just zap zap. And you're not going to do that, you're going to catch it. Actually, you've got to take this and then you unscrew it. here and it's gonna have the stupid SRS airbag button and you're just gonna take a flathead and pry that off there that's where the screw comes out of and then it comes right in usually like a little clip right here and if you pull it it just pops right out I'm 
now I move on to the next panel, which is this one, and we've already taken out, I believe this one is actually a screw again. So basically what happened is I just broke this loose and it just takes some pulling. It's more of those, guess what they are? More of those push-in screws that we all love. So you're going to hear two initial pops, and I think those are gonna be like the two smaller ones that are popping, and there are two more, one on each side, that are held in by a metal bracket. These are the biggest pain in the ass. <laughs> Blitz is gonna help. <laughs> he doesn't have his sea legs yet. So these are gonna be the ones that are gonna be the biggest pain in the butt. The other two initially will pop off, but then there's one on each corner of the headliner in the back and you're gonna have to go in with a spatula or a flathead screwdriver to pry those off. Another thing I wanted to touch on is because I didn't really tell y'all how to actually take it out of the car. That's like a big issue for most people. And I was kind of worried about breaking it as we were taking it out, but you can actually kind of fold it. Like if you do it lengthwise, like front to back, turn it towards the door and slant it and then you kind of fold it as you take it out. So that, I mean, that would be my best advice and have somebody else to help you. If you don't, I think it's still manageable. I did have Garrity come out and help me and he's the one that discovered actually that that's probably the best way to take it out of the Genesis itself. All things unsaid, shoot an apple of my head and a trouble we got all this laid out. I got three yards, but it is 100 and I think eight inches wide. So there's plenty left over. I think you're supposed to have at least like 56 inches to do this because it gives you a little extra, but um, I mean, I could probably get away with two yards of this and still have enough for the eight pillars and the mirrors. The tighter that you pull the fabric, the better it's gonna cut. Up on my seat. When you're doing this, it might actually be helpful to get some potato chip clips and not like the wide clip ones but like the metal ones that have like the rubber um it's like a rubber i don't know it's like quack, quack. around it and it's like a thinner clip you can actually use those to do this instead of these or if you have a buttload of these lying around the house say get some of those clips from the dollar store that I was talking about because that area here I was worried it's going to come up short. It did a little bit. Now again, luckily with this fabric, then the pattern, I was able to just take another piece and put it underneath, but most fabrics are not going to have you being so lucky. So had I had the clip and was able to clip with the excess on here so I could fold it underneath, I wouldn't have had this issue. 
so but I mean it's all good now but just to save everybody else some hassle okay so we've got the headliner all put back so what you're gonna want to do first when putting the headliner in you're gonna want to do it the opposite way that you take it out so you're gonna take it out front to back and instead of trying to put it back together back to front you're gonna want to do everything in the front first so you're going to want to do the visors first because that helps keep it up the actual sunglasses holder and above head lights those you're going to do last because they actually do weigh down the headliner a pretty good bit and will make it more difficult for you to install. So the process is going to be both visors and then you're going to do this. You're going to do your sunglasses holder and then after that you're going to want to do the seat belt panels each side and then you're going to want to do the back part last. And then you can do your eight pillars afterwards because those go on on top of this part of your headliner right here. So. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you do want to see more things like this, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And feel free to leave any comments underneath for any suggestions on how you feel about this DIY how-to. Or if you want to see more things having to do with the Genesis Coupe or different cars, let me know.